What's up everybody, my name is Chris Tharp and today we're looking at my method for taking 3D models in Blender and then creating 2D sprite sheets in Unity to use. Uh, you can do this in all sorts of ways, but this is something I've found recently and I think it's a fantastic method. So what I've done here is I've created a pretty simple bottle in Blender. If you need help on modeling basics, then there are a bunch of videos out there. I might do something at some point, but honestly, I'm not that great with 3D modeling. So I've taken this and I have duplicated it, as you see here. And the first one I left by itself, however, each subsequent bottle, I have placed a light inside. And this is essentially to get kind of like a bottle full of energy effect thing going on. Um, and I thought this would look a lot more interesting than just doing it in Unity with really simple tools. Uh, you're able to take this method and get some really cool effects pretty easily. So all I've done is duplicated this bottle. And then I've taken a light and duplicated that and moved it around inside the bottle to get this really cool kind of glowing effect and there, there's light and stuff moving around. Each one of these creates uh, one frame in an animation whenever you use it as a sprite sheet. So what I'll do is I'll render this out and quick side note just in case you don't know over in this tab here the render properties you can go down to film and select transparent and that allows anything you model with in Blender to be instantly importable from a 2D standpoint into Unity. So to be clear, while I'm modeling and using 3D objects, I'm rendering still images of those objects and then importing those images as 2D objects into Blender to use in a, a more traditional 2D workflow. So I've taken it into Blender and thrown it into GIMP added a couple little basic effects mostly just to make it look a little more cartoony that way it matches the vibe of the game I'm working on and I've taken that and exported as a PNG directly into Unity here we go and there it is in Unity so that's the empty bottle and what I've done is I actually imported it into Unity twice which probably it might not be the best way to do it but it's the way I did it. Long story short, you can select your image and then once you've separated it out using the sprite sheet editor, which is right here. You see how it's separated out like that? And you can do that automatically. With something that's nice and clean like this, you can do it automatically just by going up here, hitting slice, and then select slice. Make sure automatic is selected. Uh, a lot of times I do it by hand, but something like this, it's fine to do it that way. And so, once you do that, if you click this little side panel, you're able to get your actual individual frames from that. So what I've done was I, I essentially dragged this single frame in and made the object default this empty bottle. And whenever you bring the entirety of the image in once it's set up in the sprite editor it automatically animates so all I did was drag the empty bottle in and then I dragged the entire image in and I overlapped them so right now that's the empty bottle and it has an active sprite renderer and it is rendering over top of the filled bottle and if I deselect that oh, sorry there we go if I select that, we see the full bottle. I know it's not moving right here. You can see it in action. Let's see. Bad. All right, so it's not moving right here, but if I just pop right over here, There we are, we're able to get a look at it in scene. Okay. 
and I've got it set up to where it registers to a button press so right now we have our empty object and whenever we want to add our full bottle I'll just press the button oh I have to be in game I'll just press the button and it'll fill up our bottle there and we can see that animation a little better there now the reason it looks a little crazier is because I've added a couple post-processing effects uh, you know bloom and whatnot but from a distance in frame it looks pretty great and you can do this with a whole bunch of different things as a matter of fact just looking in this scene that I have set up right here this is one of the first scenes from a game I'm working on but all these objects were made in Blender. Uh, all these plants, they were used, uh, made using a couple different methods. This guy, for example, was uh, done with the grease pencil. But you can do all sorts of crazy sprite sheet. I have the same thing going on with these little weeds here. And then also with the character himself. Yeah, right down here. So you can line these things up and do all sorts of cool stuff right within these couple programs. And you don't have to bring it into GIMP if you don't want to. If it works out fine straight from Blender, I think these are straight from Blender, then uh, you got, you know, you got what you're looking for. But using those couple programs and these are all free programs, you can do some really cool stuff. We'll go over a little bit more advanced things in the future, but I'm trying to really cover the basics and go over the simplest things possible because with this stuff, it does get complex very fast. And you can do a whole lot with uh, very little. My first probably week or two of messing around in Unity, I went from not being able to get you know a ball to bounce to building worlds and it's by learning a little bit and applying that step by step. So, if this has been helpful at all, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching either way, and take it easy, guys. Have a good one.